found this video, chances are you've decided to start collecting email addresses on your Squarespace website using a newsletter block. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in order to set that up, including how to add a newsletter block, how to customize it, how to set up Squarespace email campaigns, and other top integrations you can use for your email marketing system. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I spend most of my time helping other designers push past the limitations of Squarespace using code. So let's jump in. The first thing we're going to do is to add a newsletter block. So you're going to come to the page that you want the newsletter block on. I'm going to put it in the footer of this website so that it automatically shows up on every page. So to do that, I'm going to click edit and scroll down to the footer, click to edit the footer, and I'm going to add a section. Now there are some options inside of here that have a newsletter block in them, but we're just gonna add a blank one so I can show you right from scratch. I'm going to click to add a block and click on newsletter. I'm gonna center it and just gonna make it a little bit wider. I'm going to make this section just a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna make the height small and I'm going to set its color to sort of a light beige color here. Now when you hover over top the newsletter and click, you'll see a pencil icon. You can click to edit. The first thing you want to do is change the form name. Now if you set this to be in a light box, um, then this will be the title in the light box. So you want it to make sense for your users, but also for you. So I'm going to put this as subscription newsletter. And in the title, you can leave it as subscribe if you want, but you want to kind of entice people as to why they should be signing up. Maybe they're going to be getting a freebie. Maybe they're going to be getting some um, weekly tips every week. Uh, so you want to tell them what they're receiving when they sign up. A lot of people won't just sign up if you say, hey, give me your email address. So you want to make sure um, that you're, you're enticing them to sign up. So you can say Squarespace tips and tricks, for instance. Um, sign up with your email address to receive a new tip in your inbox. every Monday. A lot of times this works better if you have some sort of freebie you're giving them. So sign up for my PDF, which will then also subscribe you to my newsletter. And you can add a disclaimer down here and what you want the button text to be. So here you can put sign up, you can put um, get access, um, download, whatever makes sense for what they're getting when they sign up. Okay. You can also require a name I suggest adding this if your email marketing system allows you to send them an email using their name. So you can say, hello, Rebecca, <laughs> here is your tip for today. And so it just helps personalize the email a little bit more. So it's something that I recommend doing. And then finally, you can add a post submit message. So this is a message such as, thank you, uh, see you in your inbox on Monday or something of the sort. It will just, as they submit, replace this newsletter with your message. And so you might want to give them a little bit more than thank you, letting them know what to expect next. You can also redirect them to a thank you page. This is a good idea if they've signed up for a freebie, you can then send them to the freebie page. Um, you could send them to a thank you page that has a little bit more information or then ask them to sign up for your Facebook group or something of the sort. So if you want to redirect for a little bit more information, then you can click redirect here and then just put in the URL of where you're sending them. Then under design, you can either choose to float it or stack, and you can choose an alignment. If you like, you can also set a background color on the newsletter block um, and choose how much padding and whether you want the edges to be straight or curved. Once you're finished with the design aspect of it, we now need to move into the second part of this, which is connecting it to an email marketing system. 
unless you want a list of these emails and you plan on typing these emails into you know, your Gmail or something and sending them each a personalized email, you need some sort of marketing system that's going to hold all of your email addresses and allow you to set up funnels and campaigns and automations and all of that sort of stuff. So you need to decide what marketing system you're going to use and then connect it inside of your newsletter blog. So the first one we're going to talk about is Squarespace email campaigns. One of the positives of Squarespace email campaigns is that everything then is inside of Squarespace. So you don't have your email system somewhere else and your website here, it's all together. So to do that, we first need to set up the campaign. So you're going to click save on this page and go to marketing, email campaigns, and you need to set up a mailing list inside of here. If you have more than one freebie, you can have multiple lists so that as they sign up in the different newsletter blocks, you're connecting them to different mailing lists. So what you're going to do is click on mailing lists and click on add. And you want to name this list something that makes sense for you. Um, your subscribers and the public will be able to see it, but you want to maybe name it in terms of what they're getting. Um, so in my case, it's my Squarespace Tips and Tricks newsletter. They're getting a tip every Monday. So I'm going to name this Squarespace Tips and Tricks and click Save. Now we're going to go back to the page that you have the newsletter on, click Edit and scroll down to the newsletter. Click on the pencil icon and under storage, I'm going to click on Squarespace and under add to mailing list, you're gonna select the mailing list that you created. Then you can click done and save. The next step of using Squarespace email campaigns is to actually set up the emails and the automation systems that you want to happen when they sign up. To do that, you're going to go back to marketing, email campaigns, and inside of here, you can select an email template and add your sending details. Um, you can set up your automations and your schedules. If you select an email template, it's automatically going to send sort of a one-off email. So in here you have scheduled emails, which is sort of a one-off, your, your newsletter, your Monday tip that I'm sending out would be a scheduled email. And then you have automations, which is ones that you want to automatically send out like through a funnel. So for my email list, maybe I want to send out a welcome email. When they first sign up, I want to set, automatically send out an email to them saying welcome to my community and kind of this is what you can expect. Thank you for, for signing up. So to do that, we're first gonna to go to add sender details and you wanna create a sender profile. So you can put your name in. And your email. And then click next. They'll send you an email verification code and a code to verify that that email is real. And then it will say that it is verified in here. I'm getting errors because this is just a trial site. It's not my actual site. Then you're going to go to automations and you're going to add an automation. So we're going to welcome new subscribers. You can go through their email templates and find the email that kind of matches your vibe and your style. And then inside of here, you can change the color of the email background, the content background, and the fonts and colors. Then you can click in here to replace any um, images and text. You can also add new sections if you want to kind of create your own style inside of here. And then under email, you want to choose the automation to be after a person subscribes. You want to select the mailing list that you chose and you can choose the timing. So I wanted to immediately send to them after they've signed up for this email list. 
I can put a subject line in such as welcome and some preview text and then you want to make sure your sender details are correct in here and your legal address is here as well. This is part of GDPR so make sure that you have that in there. And then you can send a test to yourself to make sure that it looks exactly like you want. If you have a freebie you can link in here um, and provide links to you know your blog post or what have you so you want to test to make sure they are all good and then you're going to activate the automation I'm gonna get an error here because again I'm just on a trial site but what this will do is create a nice automation for you so that when somebody fills out that newsletter block and click submit they will be added to the mailing list and then sent this welcome email And you can add a whole bunch of different automations in here. Maybe you want after the welcome email to send them something else a few days after um, and what have you. Now, I find Squarespace email campaigns can be a little bit um, too basic for people that want some, you know, a whole bunch of different freebies or have some different sales funnels and things they want in place. And so there are some different integrations that you can have that are a little bit more complex in terms of the email marketing systems. So if you're not using Squarespace email campaigns, you want to decide what marketing system you are using. I often suggest MailerLite to people who are just sort of getting started with um, setting up an email list. They want something a little bit more advanced than Squarespace has, um, but they're not sure they want to jump into paying for a big marketing system. This one has the first thousand subscribers free. And so it's a good way to kind of just test it out, see how you like it, get used to setting up automations and funnels um, without having the price tag. Um, so MailerLite is a really good way to get started with that. Some more email marketing systems that you might check out is MailChimp, ConvertKit, and ActiveCampaign. There's lots of positives and negatives to both. Um, it's well worth your time going through and doing some research on each one, what they provide, and their different pricing. And then Kartra is another one that has uh, an email marketing system in it, but it also has a whole bunch of other um, parts and, and to it. So it's kind of a really big system if you're just looking for email marketing, then I suggest going with one of the other four that I mentioned or Squarespace email campaigns, but Kartra also has um, a way to do courses and sales pages, landing pages with timers and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, they kind of are a jack of all trades in a way. Um, so if you're looking for a system that kind of does a bunch of different things, um, you may check out Kartra. If you're just looking for email marketing, um, then ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, or MailChimp is really good. Or if you're looking for kind of a starter one, um, then MailerLite is a really good place to start as well. Each of them have a slightly different way of integrating inside of Squarespace. Inside of MailerLite, they have an integration inside of Squarespace that you just kind of copy some code and you put it in Squarespace in Settings, Advanced, code injection, and then in the header or footer. And then in your newsletter block, you would go to the storage. And instead of having Squarespace turned on, you would go to other storage options and connect your Google Drive. MailerLite will then automatically use that code to pull the emails from your Google Drive in order to connect it to their systems. And they also have the options for campaigns or one-off emails and automation funnels. If you're using MailChimp, um, they have an integration automatically with Squarespace. Again, you would go to your newsletter block, you would click on storage, other storage options, and then you would connect MailChimp through this. ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign um, don't have an automatic integration with Squarespace, but they do integrate fairly nicely. 
You can use a program like Zapier, so you can connect a Zapier account, which can connect to a whole bunch of different platforms and systems. Um, or in, um, at least in ActiveCampaign, and I believe in ConvertKit, you can create a form and then just embed that form itself on the Squarespace site rather than a newsletter block. Um, and then within their systems, you can create um, campaigns and automations and funnels and all of the sort. Um, and that's a similar process with Kartra is you create a form inside of Kartra and then embed that form inside of Squarespace using a code block instead of a newsletter block. So once you've chosen the email system you want to go with and you've connected either using MailChimp, Google Drive, Zapier, or you can embed one of their forms on the site themselves, then you can click done and save and you should be all set up to collect email addresses. Now I highly suggest signing up for the newsletter yourself um, and making sure that it all works through. I suggest trying um, different emails. If you have friends that have Gmails and Hotmails, you'll wanna try from different systems. I have had in some systems in the past where Gmails worked really well, but Hotmails didn't work well. And so you wanna test it out and just make sure that everything is working well. If you are using a new email address um, this is a new site that you've launched. Be wary that it does take a bit of time to essentially warm up your email in order to stop it from going to spam. So if your emails are going to your spam or your junk folders right away, um, you can look at your different systems and see how to whitelist domains um, or build up trust for your email. It may take some time to kind of warm up and build trust of your email address so that it's not going into people's spam or junk folders. Now that you know how to set up a newsletter block and connect it to your email marketing system, check out this next video on how to build up your email list using a free download inside of Squarespace.